In today's video, I'm going to talk about the newest collection from Glow Plants dedicated only to Twin Motion. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer, and I'll see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, it's all dedicated to Twin Motion and Glow Plants. So, I was invited to try one of their models, one of their specifically designed to, for Twin Motion uh, models, plant model. Um, just to see how it works and the quality inside Twin Motion. So I'm going to add this link to the description of this video. So this is the collections dedicated to Twin Motion uh, right now on their website. Okay, so you have here a few uh, bundles and you have after specific species. Okay, so the, the in in general the criticism to globe plants it's uh, they are a bit on the pricey side. Uh, but they have quite a few promotions, uh, like you can see here now, uh, some of them sometimes 30%, etc. So, you know, it depends if um, if you're really looking for a specific plant, uh, they are really good quality. Um, so I wanted, I tried the, the, the plant. So what's the difference between this plant and another one? It says uh, TMI extension files. So that's specifically for twin motion. Okay. Uh, and when you see here file from it, you see twin motion. Uh, the price is exactly the same of FBX. Um, so I was going to talk this in the end, but so my the price is exactly the same okay uh, if you only using twin motion and you know in the future you're only going to be using twin motion that's fine you know by the format uh, twin motion uh, file format um, i'm just not sure if uh, why wouldn't i choose fbx because you know i can use it in another software imagine that you want to try another another software later on uh, lumion for example uh, you can use uh, fbx uh, files in lumion um, why would i uh, you know for the same exact price why would i only use um, one type of file for that specific software i'm not sure uh, what's the advantages here but you know uh, this is was one of my concerns um, so well, how do you do it you basically download the folder and you have something like this okay so you can see here TMI and you have the, of course the maps folder uh, where you have all the, um, the textures uh, the normal textures. I don't know why ah, because it's in the extracted folder, but you have the normal uh, textures of the of the of the um, of the file. OK. And you have a readme twin motion text that basically tells you to copy the assets for your user library in twin motion in your documents. OK, uh, so this is my uh, twin motion user library it looks something like this. So this is basically every time you download something from the Quixel mega scan um, and you uploaded one of your models, etc. This is where you're going to be in your documents in your twin motion uh, folder. OK, so this is all my other stuff. Um, because this is actually uh, SketchUp and uh, FBX files that once you download into twin motion they become tmi files okay so that's what you can see here this agave for example it was a fbx file originally that i uploaded and i added the textures inside twin motion and it became a tmi um, uh, model okay so as you can see here this brunus pumila that's the one um, the one I've got from uh, Globe Plants. Um, I was thinking that maybe it's something to the size. Uh, maybe um, the the concern here is that Twin Motion specific files they're going to be lighter. Uh, I wasn't able to actually confirm that. I will need to have actually the Prunus Pomelia FBX file to see which one is going to be lighter or heavier in the program. Uh, but you know, the, that's something for me to investigate later on. So basically, yeah, you just copy that uh, the the model file um, into your Twinmotion user library, and what you going what's going to happen? Oh, I've done this already. Okay. What's going to happen is once you're in Twin Motion, in your user library with all your other stuff, actually, I should organize this a little bit better. 
but that's what I've got here. I have the Prunus, uh, and that's the one um, that I've downloaded from the Globe Plants website. So this is the plant. Let me just go to a, a quieter place to show you. So this is the plant. I will do some renderings that I'm going to add in the end of this video. Okay. So why I'm a bit um, thoughtful, let's say, uh, why would you invest again in a twin motion specific file? If I was going to invest the exactly same money as the FBX file, uh, for a twin motion specific file, I would want something like maybe the growth effect that you have in twin motion will work on this file. Okay, so this that's what I thought initially. When they have a collection specifically for twin motion that will use, for example, the growth effect. I know that their collections, for example, if you buy a specific plant, it comes with different sizes. Okay, like you have in Max Three, etc. Uh, but the actual growth um settings in twin motion doesn't work on this type of files like he works on the native uh, twin motion uh, vegetation so i don't see to be honest a really big advantage in in you know in uh, investing because i want my investment in terms of 3d models to be as future proof as it can be and if later on i want to try a different software if something comes up um that you really want to try i think investing on FBX uh, files um, is going to be a, a more secure investment, let's say, okay? Because this can be quite expensive. As you can see, for example, um, in uh, in Globe Plants, this model, uh, this Penicentum, it's it's 26 euro, okay? And is exactly the same price as FBX, for example, okay? Of course, the other ones, um, maybe the growth, yeah, the growth uh, FX. Because you know it has other settings that you can play. It's more complex. Um, it's a bit more expensive, but FBX is already 26, so it's not that cheap. Um, that's my my concern. I really like the quality. Glow Plants has amazing quality in terms of models. Okay, I will do some renderings, close-up renderings um, in here. But when I play around with 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 the growth setting, as you can see, the native trees. Remember that the trees um, in Twin Motion with the growth setting they actually change the shape. They actually grow shrubs and other native twin motion library plants um they don't they just become bigger okay with the growth effect um but even that uh, this glow plant uh, twin motion uh, specific file doesn't do okay so it doesn't grow at all as you can see in here i have two of that prunus pomila and here i have some native ferns from twin motion and some other plant i don't remember the name now but you see it doesn't change at all but still it's pretty good but it's exactly like you've uploaded a fbx file so uh i'm not sure i'm seeing a big advantage in here so as you can see here i have this orange tree i'm just gonna show you the growth effect here okay so you have here and not only that when you're actually changing the seasons the native trees they actually change the seasons okay you can see the fruit becoming you know coming up and you know disappearing and you have other trees with flowering in and it's really amazing it's really a cool setting i just wish it was a more uh complete uh library in terms of native in twin motion but let me know what you think i will do some renderings and um check out in the end of this video let me know your thoughts and i will add the link for that twin motion collection inside globe plans for you to check it out the bundles as well see you guys in the next one